Behind me, we have a demo of Acer's Spatial Labs True Game Ultra. This is a brand new software that enhances their 3D Plus that they've been having on their laptops for about six months now. Their 3D technology takes advantage of two things, both hardware and software. When it comes to the hardware, think of the screen as one of those pieces that you kind of tilt back and forth and the image changes. That is the type of technology that's being used in the hardware. There's also two cameras now being utilized, whereas the last version, the Plus, only used one. They're basically creating images for both your right and left eye to create a 3D image. And let me tell you, I was playing around with it and this was freaking awesome. As I was moving my character around the world, there were moments where my cane or wand, whatever, was literally popping out of the screen. I kid you not. And unfortunately, we can't really capture that on camera, but you can capture my reaction. Cause it was kind of like, 3D Ultra promises to bring an enhanced experience with more depth by grabbing more data from games. And Acer's being very selective with what games work with this software. It's not just any game, but they do have a catalog of about 100 games, including God of War. This 3D technology can also be used with any PC monitor, as long as you have a screen that is compatible. So they had a laptop set up that didn't have 3D capabilities, but then an, an external monitor that did, it had the two cameras and the screen. And it doesn't need to be an Acer PC. You can use any PC that is powerful enough and connect a monitor like this and get those 3D images. The one drawback with this technology is that it's a solo experience. If anyone comes behind you and looks at the screen, the screen could get confused and not know which eyes to look at, therefore creating an unreliable image. The 3D Ultra software upgrade is coming at the end of January, and I cannot wait to see where this technology goes. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to CNET. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.